questions um, on the final part of tonight's show. Um, a big thank you already to our guests, but welcome Hayden Pope. Hello. From Eight and Fame. Is that correct? Yes. Um, we're here to talk about a serious issue which um, is which could potentially affect our village, and it looks like it probably will, but we're not put up that fight, which is the early morning restriction orders. Restriction orders. Cool. So tell me what that's about, because I'm essentially yeah, I come into this completely blind and, and I'm sure most of our viewers will be as well. So there's two pieces of legislation that were voted by the government fairly recently. Okay. Um year or so ago. And one was the late night levy, which is that any venue that opens post midnight has to pay essentially a nighttime tax. Yeah. Um, and there's uh, an early morning restriction order. Right. An early morning restriction order means that the council stroke police has to be the council but in conjunction with the police can put a terminal hour for the sale of alcohol at whatever time they deem necessary so regardless of what licenses you may have you may have six venues for example on a street that have got two o'clock four o'clock three o'clock seven o'clock but we do but if they turn around and go 2 a.m then that overrides all your license and that's in an area so that's the big difference between the two a um Late night levy has to go better wide, so they right. couldn't bring that in and say Canal Street, we're going to put that on. Okay. For example, the village, we're going to put in a late night levy. They would have to go the whole of Greater Manchester, right. which is why they don't do that because um, wine bars in Didsbury, little smaller venues yeah, yeah, yeah. on the outskirts would suffer as much as the bigger beasts in the town centre. So their way of tackling what they view, if there is a problem, is they can do an end row and it can be as small an area as one street one area, one designated zone. So they're drawing a line around what we call the gay village. Yes. Which, which I presume is from the Union to Taurus and Thompson Arms to Cruise. Basically, yes. That kind of thing. Okay, so why else? Why the village? Why? why well, if you read their report, okay. if you read their report, it would say because of crime statistics. The fact that crime statistics have fallen four years consecutively now, quite dramatically, between 12 and 13. Um, seems to mean nothing. Okay. Uh, so if you're asking me why the council say they want to do it, it's because of the crime and disorder within the village. If you want to know the real reason why they want to do it, it's because they've had their budget slashed due to the austerity measures and this will save a fortune on okay. policing. That's what I said to you the other day. Um, so why is it not the Northern Quarter? That will be next. I mean, we that will be next, I believe. I think we're an easier target. Right. Because we do tend to have a convergence of venues. We're very I mean it's 27 licensed premises within 500 meters. So we probably do have one of the most concentrated licensed areas in the city. So therefore we're an easier target for oh, we're high profile. And there are issues. I mean we, we can't sit here and say that we live no, in, no. A, in a panacea. We don't. There are issues, but the issues are caused by a multitude of reasons and not necessarily the venues. In fact, there is statistical hard evidence that says it isn't the venues. No. The fact that we have the most takeaways than any other place in Manchester. Right. We have the right. most mini firm, mini cap firms yeah, yeah. than any other area in Manchester. Yeah. That apparently is got nothing to do with it. It's all down to the badly run venues.